Well, it is official. I am on my way to Idaho. A very long, very, very long drive to Idaho. We called the Forest Service this week and the normal pass that we cut through to get up into the area that we bear hunt is snowed in still. So my nine hour drive turned into a 14 hour drive. I've got everything loaded up and uh, excited to see what the next five days are gonna be. So, whew, 14 hours. Here we come. We have officially entered Idaho. I tried to pull this out fast enough to get the uh, Idaho sign in the video like everybody seems to think that you need to do. Listening to a little Avery Adventures podcast. It's been really good so far, so if you've never heard of those guys, go check them out. We're big fans. The Gritty Bowman, Avery Adventures. A lot of good podcasts out there to... Uh, to listen to when you've got especially a 14 hour drive so here we go I just drove eight and a half miles on a dirt road because that's where the GPS said. What sucks is I think that freaking Google probably thought, oh, we'll save you three minutes. Take this mountain pass road instead of staying on the freeway. So what do I do because I don't have service and I can't check to see anything? I trust Google and Google screws me. All right, I made it to bear camp about three hours ago, but I'm not very good at this vlog thing because I was so excited to see everybody that I just kind of ditched it, but I'll give you a quick look. What we got going. You guys, you guys ready to kill some bears? Just doing a little videoing. Absolutely. You gonna kill your first bear, second bear, 100th bear? First bear. First bear. So we're gonna get it done tonight, hopefully. We're going up to the secret, the sacred perch. We had three shots from it last year, so we'll see what we can get done, but we got a big old camp. We got like 10, 12, I don't know how many guys. So anyways, I'm too excited to get out to video, so we'll video from when we get up to our little perch. You ready? Yep. All right, let's do this. ticks on me. <laughs> Jerry got a tick off me earlier. Billy? Yes sir. What's on what's Some on the bear? docket tonight? Oh we got a little Salisbury steak and mashed potatoes. Look yeah. at this dude. Some, uh, this this Some is sabarka? all handmade yeah, from we scratch. Better, oh, let, yeah, give me some, give me, let there be light. Look at this. Son of a biscuit. You know what? You can't hardly wait Salisbury to steak, mashed potatoes, and corn. <laughs> yes, you got some bread over there. What the hell is that? Jalapeno bread, and then look at this. So this is this is oh, fresh corn. Check out this setup that we got going on here. 
This thing can sleep like one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. This could probably sleep at least ten guys. This is freaking awesome. So I'll show you some of the guys who are here at camp. So we got Kelly. What's that? What's going on? Say what's up to everybody. What's up? <laughs> Kelly really knows how to light a crowd up. Yeah, well, we're gonna get into <laughs> yeah. that later. What's up, Case? Everybody knows Jimmy. <laughs> Jeff? Hey. Eric? How you doing? You need food, Bill? You got Everybody's seen enough of him today. <laughs> hey, how we doing? All right, it is day dos. And uh, Kelly and I are gonna watch all of this and a bunch more over that way so we are loaded for bear we've got my weatherby Yaki mark 3378 3338 Lapua. Lapua custom build and then a little bit of fun action <laughs> and the nine mil in the pack for gophers <laughs> yeah there the top of this mountain is packed with gophers so anyways, we're gonna have some fun. We got about oh, a little five minute hike here to get to the top where we need to go and then we can see everything. But it is three beautiful. miles of nothing but glassing. Yeah, literally, literally. So you definitely need your optics. That's what's packed in the back back here. So anyways, here we go. Okay, so we're up in our spot and uh, Kelly wants to tell everybody about his new favorite cocktail. Well, I just blended the uh, uh, peach, was that enduro? Mm -hmm. Peach enduro and the peach, uh, are the uh, pink lemonade and the peach enduro. And I'm telling you, it is awesome. What you got? There's a bunch of elk right there. Oh, I see. We're ready to see a bear. We're out here on this logging road. We're just wondering if maybe we're too high. I don't know. Maybe they're all lower. Maybe we haven't seen anything up here, so we might have to try lower. Maybe they're all in their dens. Who knows? But I think there's more greener, taller grass lower. Yeah. Who knows? It's just a matter just of don't know where to go lower. It's a problem. Persistence. Yeah. So. We'll figure it out eventually. All right, we just made it through a big, big, big hole, but we ran into uh, Jimmy and Matt, Matt Cashel, and uh, they got stuck in this. Dude, I can't believe we got through that, that's pretty cool. <laughs> How long were you guys stuck? <laughs> you guys should have stayed back and watched us and laughed the whole time. We're sitting there digging with sticks. Oh, if we would have got up, I would have died and laughed if we would have made it. So they only made it to right here where the branches are. And they got high centered and stuck. How long did it take you to get out? Uh, a good 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so we just came up, came blazing through. Wait, Jimmy, tell everyone what happened yesterday. With the wolf? With the wolf. Oh man, awesome. So I'm sitting there having a lunch break because I've seen a lot of bear sign. And then I put my lunch down after about 45 minutes. Wanted to stand up because I wanted to go check the area around around me as soon as i stand up and look 69 yards of wolf right in front of me Great. right in front of me i range them set my dial deep breath getting ready to take a shot and he walked off uh, so close um if you're wondering why we are all wearing hoods and stuff <laughs> in 80 degrees we have all fried ourselves matt hasn't yet because matt got up yesterday so I'm torched he will be Oh, you already are? Yeah, I got Your neck is fried? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's <looks> so awful. <laughs> oh, we're going to be a bunch of freaking lobsters tonight. So, anyways. Yeah, we're going to try. I'm going to... Do you want me to sit in there? Okay, I want to film it. So you guys can get an idea of how it is that we get through the snow. Here we go. This is 
the end of the road as far as the uh, side by side is concerned. This doesn't end for about 400 yards. And so we decided instead we're going to hike up that way. So this area is untouched. Nobody's been up here. It's worth it to make a pretty decent hike to be able to get back up in here and hopefully do something stupid like shoot a bear. We are on our way back. How far was that hike? A mile? A mile, yeah. mile or so? We didn't see anything but elk again. It was a beautiful mountainside and I'm sure in a week or two the uh, bears will be up in there. Oh, anyways, hopes are high, but as far as success, nothing yet. Stay tuned. Well, today is Wednesday, May 24th. And I'm with a new crew. I got Jeff Brozovich. Howdy. From longrangeonly.com. Shameless plug for Jeff. And I got Billy George from theworldsbestcook.com. <laughs> Gotta have a skill. <laughs> <laughs> world's, world's best cook and precision shooter of the Northwest. Uh, the weather has turned a little bit. We've got lots of wind and uh, we've got animals today that are completely messing with us on this hillside behind us back right about there I saw some some movement some brown movement and uh, pulled up my binos and it was a freaking half white half brown moose what's the name of those again piebald piebald or something like that we're up here on this pad, we drove to the end, and we've got a great, a great canyon to look at. Bear should be crawling all over it, but yeah, this is bear hunting at its finest, just a lot of glassing, a lot of glassing, so. Well that, ladies and gentlemen, is the only bear sign that I've seen all week, and it's about two to three days old. Well, 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 we get back to uh, camp and find out it was an eventful morning, but not like most people think. <laughs> we got lucky. <laughs> we got lucky. We, uh, we found the needle in the haystack. You ready for this? <laughs> oh, look at that. Freaking elk killer. And I'm not talking about Ryan. And for those that wonder, you can shoot wolves on private land almost year round on Idaho. Yeah, so a couple of us had wolf tags. Uh, Jimmy actually saw this wolf a couple days ago and couldn't get a shot with his bow, so we decided, hey, let's put some uh, 28 nozzler behind it. 28 nozzler. Justin Krause on the electronic calls. And, yeah, where's uh, Justin? Yeah, get Krause over here. Look, he called it thing. in. It's a female, about 75 pounds. Elk killing machine. You know, one of the biggest reasons people they don't understand is these big clod hoppers run on top of the snow and the elk and deer yeah. fall through and they catch it. That's how they catch them. Freak, dude, that is awesome. We walk back, we set up the call, we find a little ambush spot. I'm like, oh, we'll sit here for a couple hours. Justin tells me right before he cranks the call, he's like, if this happens, it's gonna happen fast. I'm not, I don't hang around after calls that often. And he turned her on, that sucker ran in in 30 seconds. Oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, that is insane. It is insane. It's just people, we drew it up that way and it never so, happens that way. This is, this is what happens when Ryan and I go hunting. Somebody inevitably kills a wolf. Last time we were elk hunting, Brian killed a wolf. Now it's Ryan, so. I just read a thing where it says 1% of the nation sees a wolf in the wild, let alone shoots one in the wild. So, it's pretty cool. That's cool. Yeah, so anyways, Ryan's gonna do a, a rug on this guy. Or what would you call that? I'm just going to uh, have it tan. Just tan, caped it out? Yep, just like a head on the wall. Oh, dude, that's crazy. Look at those teeth. That's purebred elk killer right there. Yeah, that is, man. 
I think that thing's killed a lot of elk. And the guys out there that just say, oh, why would you kill a wolf? Th this right here will kill at least two, two deer or two calves a week, if not cow elk. Two a week, they're packed. So yeah. add that up, they gotta, they gotta be managed. Yeah, no bears, no nothing. I'm having to call it a, call it a hunt for now. These guys still, how long do you stay, till Sunday? Saturday. Saturday? So they've still got a couple days to clean up and get it done. The two guys, Eric and Shane, that we were supposed to meet back up with half an hour ago never showed, so that could be a good sign that maybe they got something. But as for me, myself and I, I am going home once again. Alright, it is officially over. Unless I see something on the road on the way out and then I gotta dig through all my crap to uh, get a gun out to shoot them, but not really planning on anything like that. So, anyways, it was super awesome, fun, emotionally draining from literally glassing from the moment we would get to our spot to the moment we would leave. I mean, we're waking up. Five, six o'clock in the morning, leaving at 10 o'clock at night, so it's rough when you try that hard to get it done and you just are never presented with an opportunity. It wasn't for the lack of trying, that's for sure. Whoa! Bumpy road. Bears are just funny, so you gotta play their game, and right now I think they're a lot lower than we were. Sure, I've said that about a hundred times, but I just think that because they weren't where we were looking. So, anyway, super fun. Go check out rockslide.com. It's a backcountry hunting forum for any information on gear reviews and just awesome guys putting together awesome content. That's Ryan's site. And then go check out longrangeonly.com. You got to see a little bit of Jeff and his long range uh, passion and expertise, but uh, just a great group of guys, honestly. Uh, loved every minute of it, wouldn't trade it for anything, even though, you know, Ryan was the only one that was quote unquote successful with getting his wolf. Hey, I'll come back next year and I'll do it all over again, so. Thank you for watching. We have a lot more hunts coming up, so hopefully uh, you guys like this one enough to want to watch the other ones. So subscribe to our channel, share this with your friends, and uh, get out there and keep conquering. Don't let anything hold you back. Until next time.